my first trophy with Manchester United. I've been dreaming about when this moment might come. Last season, when Man United were in their rebuild phase, we managed to take them to the Carabao Cup final. But unfortunately, we were not good enough to compete against Liverpool and we had to stand by and watch them celebrate. But this season, things are different. Our team is incredible with players like Tonali, Griezmann, Tomori. We're second in the Premier League and top of our Champions League group. And once again, the Carabao Cup is here and this time I'm desperate to win it. Alright guys, I'm probably the only one taking the Carabao Cup this seriously, but honestly, Liverpool last season broke me. Losing that cup final, nah, I do not want to feel that again. So yeah, we're gonna do everything possible to win the Carabao Cup. We're gonna treat every game in this competition as a final, including this one against Sheffield United. That's right boys, let's all just imagine that the Carabao Cup is the Champions League and give it everything. Because honestly, winning the Carabao Cup could help us maybe go on and win a treble because that's what I want to do but we still have about three weeks before that game against Sheffield United until then let's keep the focus on the Premier League and the Champions League because we've still got a job to do there oh by the way if we win our next game in the Premier League we're literally gonna go top of the league the goal is to win Manchester United the Premier League and a win against Aston Villa will put us in a great spot guys is it only me that's noticed this but Antoine Griezmann's dropping so quickly in his overall it's kind of sad to see but I told you this was gonna happen soon Rasmus is going to eventually become a starter and we're going to have to prepare him for that eventuality. For now though, we're, we're going to rest Griezmann for this game. Rasmus starts. That's our team. It's time to go top of the Premier League. Guys, we could literally go top of the Premier League by winning this game but all I was talking about so far is the freaking Carabao Cup. That's how much Liverpool broke me last season by beating us in that final. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a chance already, Erasmus, releasing it for Bruno Fernandes, 1-0 already. What a start against Aston Villa, we keep this up, we'll be top of the Premier League. Go on, Rasmus, I want to see you score. Rasmus Hoyland, brilliantly done, oh, he tried to pass it in. Keeper read that one. Okay, Aston Villa, I see you, I see you, but you're not getting past Tomori. I'm telling you, man, Tomori is so freaking good on this game. What a centre-back to have. Now we're on the attack, Frankie de Jong, what can he do? Cutting it back for Rasmus, and that's a rocket into the back of the net. I'm telling you, Rasmus Hoyland is getting better and better. We're never given the chance this season. He's coming on and doing that. I mean, just look at that strike. Oh, no, we've made a mistake. Oli Watkins space, and how has he put that in? That is a bit sus goalkeeping from Onana. He had time to save that. No, no, no. What was that? How is Onana getting beat like that? Aston Villa equalize. That is unbelievable. We were controlling the game for the most part. And we might actually bottle going top of the league. I can't believe this. Griezmann, it's your time to shine. Rodrigo hasn't done much, so we're bringing on Garnacho as well. The super subs of dreams, we need them. Guys, um, the super subs might actually lead to us losing this game. Onana, finally you decided to wake up and make a save. Look at him celebrate like that. Bro, you've conceded it twice already oh my days what is this mentality super subs more like super flops they've not done anything but Griezmann's turn there that was really nice as we get the ball with Bruno I see space on the other side for Garnacho. This is looking nice. Griezmann's making a lovely run. Oh, Antoine Griezmann. An acrobatic finish. That is something special from Griezmann. Oh, what a freaking goal that was. Antoine Griezmann, take a bow. That was utterly ridiculous. Look at this angle. Oh, my days. I was calling them super flops, you know, the, the super subs. Instead, they both combine. Give us the lead. The goal to go top of the Premier League, at least. Let's hope. No, 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 we're not conceding. We're not conceding. We might concede. We might actually concede. Oh, we don't. Oh, my days. It's done, boys. We get the win against Aston Villa, but we had to work so freaking hard for it. Top of the freaking Premier League, man. We've had to work so hard for this. Remember in season one when we were struggling 10th, 12th in the Premier League? Here we are now at the top, but let, let's not just get ahead of ourselves. There's still a lot of football to be played. Like the Champions League, where we still haven't secured top spot in our group, but we can do that by beating this by Leverkusen team. And they've actually got some good players. Sven Botman, John Stones, Palacios, Jota. Yo, where did Leverkusen get all this money? Yo, Griezmann's overall just keeps fluctuating. He scored a wonder goal and he literally went up by one in his rating. So I guess we'll put him back into the team, but a few rotations I think are needed for this game. Mount, you're coming on. We'll we'll rest Marcus Rashford a little bit. Todibo can start as well. And that's it. Let's go out there and get the win. I made the mistake of underestimating Leverkusen the last time around. This time, I do not want to do that. 
where we're trying to beat them, but right now they're just constantly attacking us. But we're surviving. Get the ball away, guys. What is that? Onana saves Todibo, the weakest clearance ever, but we get it away. Oh, no, 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 Dalo. That was a rough one, but the ref's not giving it. We're, we're kind of lucky, I think. Dalot maybe got a little of the ball, but he's put all that hard work to complete waste by giving the ball back. And also, I think Dalot has just completely injured that guy too. That's that's not good, I guess. Yep, the ref's calling the play. I think literally Dalot took him out. My days, that was a bad one. Yeah, that was that was a rough freaking challenge right there from Diogo Dalot. No nonsense defending. No, 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 no. What? Alejandro Grimaldo scores. Leverkusen take the lead. If we lose this game, I think Leverkusen will top the group. Guys, why do I feel like Onana has just been so sus in goal? It's it's honestly getting to me. De Jong. Oh, lovely chip ball for Antoine Griezmann in his stride. I cannot believe that was saved. Now, that's what a keeper does. Saves you in these kind of situations. Today, Onana has just done nothing. And with the trans window approaching, you just never know, man. 15 minutes. All we need is one goal. That'll still be enough to get a stop spot in this group but do we have what it takes to get that one goal guys it also feels like my players are always tired compared to my opponents maybe we need to do something about our training system but well, right now what we're trying to do is somehow get something out of this game long ball for rodrigo heads it back for dalot which i don't know why but this is our last chance of the game we might be able to do something no i couldn't find the ball it's over. Uh, I think we've bottled top spot in the Champions League. Uh, this is so frustrating, man. Honestly. But see, guys, look at our players. They're just totally unfit. I think maybe that's the reason why we're losing all these games. And for that, we need to adjust our training plan. I think when you've got these crucial periods where there's so much football, let's change the plan to energy focused, where players will be getting or earning more stamina instead of like sharpness. Because maybe that's what we need. And we'll apply this for all our players and, and just see what happens. Thanks. Thankfully, though, we still pick up a win against Fulham. And look at Rasmus continuously gain more importance in our team. Look at that. Another win in the Premier League. This is the kind of form we need in the Premier League. We're cruising right now. Three in a row as we beat Everton as well. Yup, I think adjusting the training plans was key. Look at the difference in stamina for our players. And those wins have resulted in us having a four-point gap at the top of the Premier League. Liverpool are chasing us. This is exactly the position we want to be in. For now, though, we've got our final Champions League group stage game. But this is a point as it gets because well we're second in the group we're guaranteed to finish second and there's nothing much we can do gonna just rotate the squad completely rasmus is gonna play garnacho as well we'll give menu a chance hannibal match free too a lot of rotations let's just get this game out of the way and yeah we still end up winning it with a rodrigo hat trick no way leverkusen i think have dropped points have we just managed to top our champions league group no level on points with leverkusen but since they have a better head-to-head -head record against us by literally beating us um, on both occasions, which was traumatizing. They end up getting top spot for the group and that's going to make our journey towards winning the Champions League once again harder. By the way, guys, we're getting closer and closer to 900,000 subscribers and with your help, I can probably get there soon, so subscribe to the channel. Oh, we've just got one game before the big night against Sheffield United, but that one game is against Spurs. We're in a good spot in the Premier League and I intend to keep it that way. Yo, we are boys at Old Trafford for the big night against Spurs. I want to win this oh already rodrigo brilliant dribbling here looking for the ball back inside what well, griezmann griezmann forgot how to play football they just missed the ball by the way look at who spurs have in their midfield it's freaking casemiro and he's their captain too this is not good we've just been opened up what heck theo Hernandez, what are you doing guys what was theo Hernandez doing he didn't even have the ball he just literally headbutted him bro theo Hernandez headbutted richarlison there theo Hernandez doing his best to down impression and now hugman son's got a penalty and Onana, what are you doing? You literally saw it coming. Dive the right way and you just went past it. What was that goalkeeping? Guys, as we get to the trans window, I am genuinely feeling like selling Onana. What on earth has he done in this episode? Don't want to lose this game against freaking Spurs. So let's try and get back into it. Griezmann could help me out. Oh, Bruno completely empty. And Bruno Fernandes yet again. Coming up with the crucial goals. Our captain, our leader. Don't want to let Spurs score another goal. Dalot almost just got nutmegged. No, oh, no, 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 no to Mori. Oh, you legend. He just saved us there. No, no, no. Kulisevsky has gotten in behind off the crossbar. And Onana almost just put it into his own net. We're so lucky we're not 2-1 down. 
No, son, you've just done me dirty there. Good save, Onana. Can we clear the ball away? I can't believe it. I literally can't believe what we've done there. Ah, Spurs take the lead. Guys, they might actually score another goal. We've completely collapsed here. Son, offside, offside. We're still alive in this. This is our last chance of the game as we look for Griezmann, who's found Bruno. Oh, Bruno Fernandes. No, that would have been unbelievable. Look at the way Loris is celebrating. Fair enough. I need something from this set piece, man. Bruno Fernandes is putting it in. Griezmann, he's not getting there. We might still have a chance. Frankie de Jong on the volley, strikes it, it rebounds off everyone, and it's over. It's over. We've lost to Spurs. We're still top of the league, but the gap has been reduced. Our form lately has just been terrible. And to make things worse, our next game is this Carabao Cup fixture. I do not want to mess things up here. Even though I'm taking the Carabao Cup seriously, I want to use this competition to also use players like Hoyland, Garnacho, my boy Menu, as well as Hannibal Metzbri. We're going to use the youngsters, and still, I'm going to try and win it. Oh man, I've never felt so tense about the Carabao Cup in my life. This season, I'm desperate to win it. Here we go. Hoyland already getting in behind. Oh, the lovely ball roll. And might look for Marcus Rashford, who's got the pace. Back inside for Hoyland. It was brilliant play. Come on. That first goal, and I think we'll have this game completely wrapped up. Let's get it. Good ball for Bruno Fernandes from Hannibal Metzbri as we're moving the ball around nicely. Nope. Garnacho, how? Guys, I feel like this team's already feeling the pressure, man. We need to get that first goal soon. Garnacho. Looking for Marcus Rashford. This should be a good one. Come on. Okay, guys. I need to maybe just calm down. It's just the freaking Carabao Cup. The goal will come, I believe. A few moments later. No, 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 no. Not this way. Not this way. Nah, nah, nah. I, I refuse to believe we're getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Please, we need Ooh. someone to get us a goal back. And now Sheffield are literally going to play like this with fouls everywhere. But it's still a very good spot for a set piece. Maybe we can put in a good ball. Come on, Bruno. The delivery needs to be good. But that was horrendous. Guys, I'm making one change. Griezmann's coming on. I think we need him. So is, of course, Frankie de Jong. Bernacho. Oh, I see you, Griezmann. Griezmann's been brought on for exactly this. Antoine nope. Griezmann. No, the angle was too tough. No, no, no. It's... What? Penalty for what? I think it's over, boys. Carabao Cup dream is over. That's the second penalty Theo Hernandez has conceded. And... Bruh. Oh, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, no, no. You fraud. Oh, my days. We're selling him. I'm sorry. We're selling him. He dives the right way, but like a maniac. Oh, my God. I cannot believe we've just been humiliated in the mighty Carabao Cup like this. Unbelievable. Just, just unbelievable. Here I was envisioning a treble by winning the Carabao Cup and later the Premier League and the Champions League. But all we've done is embarrass ourselves. Do you know what? Let's first just get to the transfer window because there's something I need to do. We've got this West Ham game first. I'm just hoping we can get a win and of course, of course, of course, when things are going terrible, everything just falls apart. But hey, at least we've made it to January. I would you look at this liverpool are back to being top of the premier league we've completely bottled it and i told you this one thing i need to do man i've had enough i've had enough of onana i'm sorry he might be 87 rated but he literally is useless in game and i just don't know why like honestly this episode he's put in the worst goalkeeping performance i think i've ever seen we're putting him on the transfer list we are manchester united we've got the money to sign any keeper we want and that's exactly what we're gonna do bye bye onana while we wait for for offers for Onana, I just get through this game against West Brom, and even that was a struggle. But hey, thankfully we won it. No transfer offers yet for Onana. I think it's gonna take a while before we can sell him. But the problem is we've got Chelsea next, guys. I'm not even kidding you. I'm so annoyed with Onana. I'm just gonna play Bayan Indir, whoever this guy is, our backup keeper. I don't even care. Onana, you're getting benched, man. You've been horrendous. Now that we're out of the Carabao Cup, we've got to take the Premier League even more seriously, man, because that could legit be the only trophy we win this season. So. If we bottle it, I'll be fuming. So let's get this win against Chelsea. But the problem is our keeper. I'm, I'm worried about him. And already we're seeing Chelsea on the attack. What is happening here tomorrow? Good stuff. Oh, Griezmann. Oh, Griezmann. He's broken through. Massive chance. Antoine Griezmann could do a big job here for us. But I cannot believe 
how everything's being saved. Oh, Marcus Rashford, there's the pace. That's what we've been missing from Rashford. Yeah. I cannot believe it, man. When that, when everything's going against you, it just keeps piling up. Like, how have Griezmann and Rashford both missed those chances? Oh, what a ball for Marcus yeah. Rashford. Even that doesn't go in. Antoine Griezmann, I think he's kept himself on side, but ah, oh, the finish. Maybe we should sign Robert Sanchez because he's saving everything. Frankie de Jong has done incredibly well. Cut back for Griezmann, surely. Finally, we get the goal. Oh my days. That was a rocket from Griezmann. He, he, the keeper wasn't stopping that. No, 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 no. We concede. I'm telling you, man. We need a new keeper. We absolutely need a new keeper. Onana is not good enough. This guy is not good enough either. Rashford, he gets into these positions so often, but then does nothing. This time, though, he gets the goal. Let's go. Marcus Rashford out of nowhere. We might just be sneaking away with three points. No, 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 no. Oh, let's go. Our keeper made a save. No, no, no. We might still concede. I think the game's over. Offside. I think it was offside. That's why the game's over. Well, let's go. We've beaten Chelsea without Onana. I'm telling you, he was the problem. Guys, would you believe it? Man City have put in an offer for Onana. Normally, I'd be super angry and will reject it, but we could sabotage Man City by giving them Onana. Well, they have Edison, so he probably might just be on the bench, but I'm accepting this. Yo, I don't care. Onana, you can join Man City, be on their bench, but he's going, boys. We're selling this fraud. It's actually done, boys. I've actually sold this fraud onana bye bye i've had enough of you it's time to say goodbye cannot believe it's man city who took both varan from us and now onana but you know what that that this is a big help now though it's all hands on deck and we need to bring in a new goalkeeper we've got manchester city in the premier league in just one week and they've got our keeper our former center back too we need to find a goalkeeper before then but you know what i want this decision to be made by you guys so in the comments let me know which goalkeeper should we sign for manchester united please please suggest me a keeper that won't be a fraud like onana but next episode, with the new keeper, our journey towards the Premier League title will be back on. And we'll also find out who we're going to face in the Champions League. If you guys are enjoying our journey with Manchester United, you'll surely enjoy me fix Chelsea in FC24. So click here to watch that.